Hey, I'm Devin, host and DM of Almost D&D, a tabletop role-playing podcast where three of my best friends hang out in my basement and attempt to play Dungeons & Dragons. More importantly, we attempt to make you laugh. So if you're looking for a light-hearted, comedic D&D podcast, give us a listen anywhere podcasts are available. Hey, hey episode Troll left in in here. Uh, this show is a continuous story that the NPCs are attempting to stray from. So, if you are uh, skipping episodes, uh, uh, there may be some details that are quite confusing. Uh, management uh, uh, recommends you listen to the show in order so things don't get lost or uh, uh, out of context. But if you thrive on chaos, you do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you're driving, have your imps set the scry to uh, D&D. Thanks for summoning the show for your entertainment. <laughs> Recap. Go ahead. Nobody remembers. Uh, we did something, and there's a map, and I have no idea what it looked like because I cannot process directional information auditorially. That was beautiful, Cookie. Claimer, we are adults and use adult language, which has ironically not matured. We will have and discuss adult situations. Whether this is offensive is all on you. Welcome to the Necromantic Empire. Ariola's vacation. Follow along as the NPCs are on a savage world vacation in the kingdom next door. They finally get to taste what it's like to be a PC in the module of the Necromantic Empire. Will they try to enjoy their vacation? Are they ready for what awaits them? Or will they do their vaguely defined job of spying on the kingdom of morally questionable wizards? All right, you wake up. You have five days left of your vacation adventure. Hooray! An excuse to start anew. You realize you're fairly close to the time you're going to be needing to, uh, well, forcibly be sent to the dungeon. (laughs) No, I'm not done yet. What are you working on? Uh, You had to ask me. It was like a special gas... I like when we do the test sounds, you're at full volume speaking voice, yeah, and yeah. then we then we start recording and you go to the whisper in the back of the throat. Because I'm trying really hard to work on work on my my uh my gas, so Oh okay. yeah. trying to push one out. <clears throat> yeah. You too many beans. Too many beans, what? Yeah, they give you gas. No no no, it's like an aerosol gas. I just I inhaled too much of it. <clears throat> French fries and oh. grapes and chocolate give me gas. Yeah. <laughs> French fries, like, do you dip the French fries in the chocolate? And then wrap them in the crepe, yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah. Actually, if you just do the, the French fries in the chocolate and then wrap that in bacon, delicious. Oh, oh okay, yeah. That yeah. sounds like the exact amount of um, fat I need in my bloodstream. <laughs> yeah. Can, 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 I, can I have some bacon, Hogan? At this point, you, you notice no. there seems to be a red light flashing in the room somewhere. Uh, that, what? What? Does that mean there's a fire or we're being recorded? Well, both. Do you look for it? Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. Like, it won't be hard to find. It's a flashing red light. Yeah. And, and it all seems to be coming from the bluter knife. The pommel has this, what wasn't there before, out of all the jewels that are encrusted on it, is now a red one. And it's flashing in a pattern of two, four. Uh, that reminds me of a joke. How many bass players does it take to change a light bulb? How many? One, five, one, five, one, five. So is that like 15 or? One, six, seven, one, five, something. (laughs) I thought you were bad with numbers, really bad. Why, Why do you have numbers in your head? Why is my butt flashing? I don't that's your know. Butt? Oh, that's your butt? It's my pommel, right? Uh-huh. Is it, is it I thought that would be like your sword? feet. What part are you getting hit with? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. So wait, where's your mouth? I don't have a mouth. It's a magical thing. Although I do split and eat swords every now and then. That's kind of fun. Mm, and now I'm a flaming sword. Watch this. No, no, no. We do not need to pay more on this room. Your... Non-registered scry. You are being on. summoned. Oh, shit. You Hang on. are Important being call. summoned. Important call. Hang on. Hello? Hi. 
Pick hey, up. hey, this is D. How's it going over there? It's going great. Excellent, excellent. You should be uh, perfectly fine where you're at now. We can talk as freely as you need to. Give us the details. What do you got? Give us some deets. Give D some deets. All right, so D, here's the deets. Right now, there is an entire ghost dimension held magically where they take anybody who does anything out of line, they murder you, incinerate your body, and then leave you there to clean up the place. Any trash that falls or footprints too, uh, too dusty in the road, so on and so forth. They say it's a work release program. I'm pretty sure that means that they're there forever. Okay. Uh, right now, they're also going, getting ready to go to war against the lycanthropes in the South. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're also spaying and neutering tabaxi. They call them rabid. I'm pretty sure they're just trying to, you know, do stuff. Are, are you sure that that's, they're just trying to decrease the population and then there's a disease going through at the same time or something? Uh, because, I mean... Yeah, rabies is a thing. You should see it when it goes to the werewolves down here. Oh. No, I'm pretty sure it's just the, the elves just picking and choosing. They're uh, racist. Yeah. Well, we know that. Thank you, Cookie. Okay. Um, now, right now, we're also going through the eight different dungeons we've done. How many have we done? Is it three? <laughs> oh, three, yeah. Uh, it's all kind of the same layout. You just get shot there, and then you go through your dungeon... Yeah, we've done three three different ones. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you go through your dungeon, and then when you leave, there's a gift shop where you blow all the money you made, and then you do whatever for the rest of the day, as long as you don't piss off the red caps. Okay. Uh, who are the red caps? Re oh, the red caps are essentially the enforcers. Have you never you've never met a red cap, have you? No, no, no. Think no. tiny, vicious, bloodthirsty fae, and there's thousands of them. Tiny, bloodthirsty fae. Yeah, okay, they're, okay, huh? They're huh? Everywhere. Yeah, I'm just writing this down. Hold on. All right. Yeah. Okay. You can tell them because they all wear red cones. Okay. I'll uh, I'll uh, go pass that along to uh, to our boss, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah. Hey, two other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had a thought. Um, mm -hmm. since the magical barrier that keeps the dead people here is like under lock and key magically, mm -hmm. you need a way to open it, right? I would assume so, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's n there's a few ways we could probably get into where that's at. I have a hookup that might know the way. Okay, huh? Tell me how do the resurrection coffins work? Because uh, you don't need a body for those, do you? N no, they're, they're kind of like they, they extrude the this stuff. You just throw in a whole bunch of material and it kind of reassembles. How hard do you think it would be to get like... A hundred of those kind of lined up just over the border. Mm. Uh, give me, I need at least a few days to do that. Okay, well, we have five days left of this here. Okay. Because uh -huh. I have a thought. If we just turn those on and spread word in that side that you can come back, then maybe we get the Necromantic Empire several... Uh, it's, it's not that simple. You'd have to be... Registered, we'd have to have a piece of them to begin with. It's not just like anybody out of the blue. So you at least need their information. In a more physical sense, yes. So or a finger. What if we just had like the ash left over? Oh no, no, ash is destroyed. It that ah. needs something a little more fresh. I mean, fresh uh, air quote fresh. Uh, as long as it's not dust, like a finger. A finger would work. Yeah, or yeah. hair. Hair would work. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but you got to be careful with, with, with hair. I mean, because that could be mixed with somebody else's hair, and it may just cross a signal, and nothing would happen. Or Although, a finger. I wonder if they could rearrange them so you take two people and splice them together that way. That could be so much fun. Can I, think, I have a coffin? I think we saw the results. of the resurrection okay. things? We've seen the results of something similar to that already with Leroy, and that did not end well. I <laughs> think it ended perfectly fine. Raman. Uh, he is dead. And Raman. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, but there is a spider web cloak. You know the kind that kind of makes you invisible? Uh, I've heard rumors of that. Uh, All right. Well, here in Ariolus, apparently they get the, the web from the spiders in the south, like southern parts of the Necromantic Empire. Oh, okay. And it comes over the border, and they turn it into these cloaks that can make you partially invisible. Is there any way you might be able to get a hold of one of those? 
I'll have to do some research, see what I can find. Uh, meanwhile, see if you can find the uh, any of the fences up there. Uh, they might be able to provide us with some of the material. I or at least more information. Fair. Yeah, I have but, to but actually... Don't go to that um, that that place. Oh, that one on the corner of like Stabbing... Fence and Hawkins. Yeah, yeah. Fence yeah, and Hawkins. Yeah, no, we're not going to Fence and Hawkins. Yeah. No, I think there's already someone from the black market that's contacted me, so... They might get back in touch. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we'll inquire with them, and uh, we'll be sending you another package soon. Uh, let us know if there's anything else you need. Uh, funds are limited, but we might be able to get you a uh, special gadget or something. Ooh. So just let us know if it's something, you know. Yeah, yeah, we will do. We'll do. All, all right, right, all right. Keep up the good work. I'm going to go send this report, and uh, just be glad you don't have any more of those morning announcements. We'll see you later. Yanks. Oh, we still have them. Don't worry. <laughs> all right well you guys heard it uh no we one, didn't you're on the phone it's a spe- it's a scry you, you, <laughs> you, right, you forgot to put on speaker you're old dog you were, you were responding to those questions don't tell me you couldn't hear mr i got sensitive hearing and it hurts when things go boom hey gray makes them go boom everyone in this room has yeah. ears that are triple the size of a normal human's it's fine hmm? for me yeah except for you you don't have ears. So, there. That's right. <laughs> but, all right, so. Yeah, you said but. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have a magical item that we could probably get. There's another care package on the way. Um, so, I think it's down to us kind of trying to figure out how to fuck with everything, right? Any, mm-hmm. any ideas, gang? I like your idea of the, uh, you know, getting all the slum people to get together and, and then join with all the monsters and fight the, the evil pointed air bastards. Yeah, I still feel like that's... Hear a... me out. I can spawn people, too, if we just use the glass bathtub and I just pee into, on the dead people. We can just bring people back one at a yeah, time. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be babies. You're gonna have an army of babies unless you go on that quest again. You remember that quest, right? No, don't do it. <laughs> What's the quest? I forgot. Yeah, it's, that's fine. Oh, okay. Damn every it. time they, Every time Bluter brings up this quest, we all skip time. I'm just saying an army of babies could be very fun. No, the heads are going to flop, and they're going to be all weird and easy to kill, and somebody's going to rack up like half a hit. Yeah, have you never seen a centaur baby? The bottom (laughs) half runs like a normal horse, and the top half just flops around like a dead fish. I don't think so. terrifying. Oh, oh, what do you mean you don't think so? That just doesn't sound like it's correct. Huh. I, I wouldn't know, though, because I'm a horse. She is a horse, so she would probably know a little bit better about us than centaurs. Right. M- maybe, uh, she at least knows half of them. Maybe the biology catches up faster, so you're not born as a baby, you're born as a Or maybe they just put the, the baby half in, like, a brace. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? I, uh, sure. Stay pardon involved. me for right. imposing my thoughts, you know. But in any case, so, yeah, we can still totally get, like, this army of people to rise up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then that, but it won't make a difference if everything's cleaned up instantly after like a big battle. Maybe. Maybe, maybe yeah. not. But we have tens of thousands of souls or more than we could possibly imagine oh. on the other side. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. You're Scry. Gray, it's in contact with Leroy. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Message him. Tell him to tell everyone to stop picking stuff up. Hi, Leroy. It's not Leroy. like they're going to go over and make him stop. Well, I can't just go straight to work. I have to at least say how I was doing. Hi, Leroy. How are you? Yeah. When you're looking at it, you're you're actually responding to Hogan's texts, even though it was on your phone. Oh. It's, oh. Just, it's just you, Hogan. I forgot. Mm. You Le- haven't answered, though. How are you doing? Well, <laughs> I am doing great. Send. All right. So, no peach, peach, or anything like that. Yeah. Well, if Leroy's able Good to come around to once in a while. Here, smiley face, kissy face. <laughs> Bing. Oh, oh, you forgot to do the eggplant. Oh, you're right. You okay. like the eggplant. Eggplant, yeah. eggplant, 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 pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. Splash. <laughs> Goose? Now I'm just hungry. <laughs> Me too. Let's go to the dungeon. <laughs> Well, we have a minute. Anyway, I'm just going to leave a note here for while we're gone, since there's no room service, because it's dead people, right? Apparently. Okay. Yeah, let me Give just crease this bags out. bags to catch gas real quick. Stop working 
they are not going to release you. Strike and help bring it down. Now I'm just going to leave that on my scry. So that way when Leroy opens it to send messages eventually, randomly, maybe he'll get the hint. P.S. Leroy, this is for you. Don't fuck it up. I miss you, Leroy. Don't forget to send kissy face. Everyone misses you. Kissy face. Oh, yeah. And a high face. five. Give a high five. Oh, yeah. High One five. High five emoji. 100%. Is there a horse emoji? Hashtag. One horse emoji. And pot hashtag. Ag- pot agreed. And a hashtag. Mm. And a hashtag. And, and a hashtag. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag. And hashtag. Hashtag, yeah. hashtag, hashtag. <laughs> Let's get food. I'm hungry. Miss you, buddy. <laughs> Six pack coral towers. Okay. And for you. Unicorn cone. Unicorn cone. Uh, sorry, dudes. We're all out of unicorn codes. Uh, cones, uh, yeah. <sighs> what about... You do have uh, narwhal, though. No, narwhal. I was about yeah. to ask if you had narwhal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Narwhal uh, living in the ocean. Yep. Uh, anything else? Uh, a narwhal? Cookie, what do you need? Meat. Yeah, can you just find Wait, a hog? Like meat as a, as a slurry, so can we, we can call it a, a meat pacino or a frappa meter or something? Uh, no, don't give them ammunition to make money off of us. Oh, okay. Just a, just a haunch of meat. Haunch of meat. Uh, any particular species? Humanoid. All right. Hey, Cookie can order for herself. I don't care what <laughs> species it is. Uh, cookie, all right. Let me give me a second. I'll go get something. I'm, I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna go. Edgar. No, no, Paul. Paul. Come here. <laughs> ah! Uh, <laughs> here's leg. <laughs> Ooh, Don't smells worry, fresh. Paul, it's very fresh. <laughs> chomp, 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 uh, chomp. Uh, and what else do people want? Huh? I just want a bag of random donuts and a large coffee. Ooh, can I also donuts, get some, like, coffee. blood custard? Some blood stirred? Here, here you yeah, go. Yeah, blood stirred. Anything else? Yeah. Ah, sliders. <laughs> Hard, Coral soft, tower. or bubbly? Coral tower sliders. No, don't have any of those. Sorry. Oh. Do you have flaccid cider? Yes, we have that too, but the uh, bottles are really uh, squishy. You know, I think that's as good as it's going to get. I'll try one. All right, here you go. (sighs) So you get all your stuff. You all enjoy your food, and you go through the wonderful transformation or teleportation signs, and you get the and you arrive in your little line. So which one are we doing, guys? Three, four, five, or eight? I think we're supposed to wait for eight. The eight tenets of Arealis. Oh, here we go. Again. These laws guide us all. Why do we have to listen to Arealis first? Why do we have to listen to morning announcements Follow every the day? Of your superiors. Well, because you're going to work. Three. This is getting Keep in line. You're pure. purposely doing this one to yourself. Do not rise above yeah. your station. Do, this. You pay to do, do not this. slander your superiors. Wasn't that money? Money decides Mickey the value of all things. Seven. Magic is worthier. All right, did they? No Are we taking notes, Sarah? Humphrey, 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 you taking notes? Taking notes? Write it down, Humphrey, use your pop. It's the same, sure ten- to know your the same ones we do every time. Ignorance every time, yeah. is unjustified. Yeah. Right, I've been next to when they're going to talk about your scry and all that, right? Uh-huh, yeah. <sighs> I hate that one. Why are we standing mm-hmm. in line? Uh, just, why didn't we buy the VIP? Oh, right, we can't get the upgrade. No, yeah, hey, do me a favor. No, Tell no, me all about the adventure. What adventure? You know the one. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you about that. But what about Dice Heads? Dice Heads. Baked before you know you've won in our special Pizza Futures oven, following a recipe from... Hang on, was that a real Sir sentence Isaac? that was just served? Dice Brand heads new sentence. Oh, that was a sentence. And coin. I believe it was Pizza Future I Oven. Ah, two and pizza one Futures. Pizza. You know, like when you, you put money into stocks and put oh. into the Futures? Oh. oh. Main style. Okay. Try our no, not me. The one up. We're not going to the moon on that one. What it sounds like. No dogey for you. It's strung together. Too, I guess. Order yours now on your spot. Oh, I feel like we were talking over something important. Oh well. Pizzas. If some guy named Hogan answers, hang up and try again. That was weird. Did they just mention you again? They did. This one is free. Hmm. You're famous. Oh, critical failure. But not in ways I was hoping for. I know. Huh. It counts. What do they? You see our pizza's like, we will pump for you. We will pump for you. (laughs) So apparently, back home, there's a 70-year-old version of me that was a war general. Here, apparently, I possibly work at Dice Heads. And if I answer the phone, you're supposed to hang up. Did they clone you? 
Can I have some of your DNA? You sure you want me to tell the story and get to the end, or do you want to possibly hear that commercial again? I think we should probably put that one back on repeat. You mean this one? Nobody gets a late pizza a lot. Dice head. Dice head. Dice head. Dice head. Dice head. Big before you know you've won in our special Pizza Futures oven, following a recipe from famous alchemist Sir Isaac. Whoa. Dice Heads is a critical hit on flavor and coin. Our most famous pie is the uh, two-in-one pizza, made to feed four elephants and a turtle. It's a hit with the entire party. How much does a turtle eat? Try our token favorite, the One Up. It's exactly what it sounds like. Regular pizzas are available too, I guess. Order yours now on your scry, TM, at Dicehead Savage Pizzas. If some guy named Hogan answers, hang up and try again. I, I think I'm gonna call Dice them. Heads. Deliver another five minutes or the next one is free. That's our not critical failure guarantee. Dicehead. He's here, he's just like, he will come. I think we should call them. Dice Head Savage's Pizzas. Yeah, let's that's order some that's pizza. Mm -hmm. That's... They're Savage Pizzas. They're not Savage... Um, but then they mention right. my name, and my whole name is Hogan Savage. Well, yeah, this sounds that. like a secret code type deal. Uh, well, don't you remember that time you got called? You were in the middle of a fight, and somebody said, is this Dice Head Pizza? And you said, no, we're in the middle of a battle. And they hang up. Remember? Remember? No? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, barely. That was season one. Yeah. Yeah. Season one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Throw it back. Yeah, throw it back. Do 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We'll insert that here. Oh, that was weird. Anyways, let's order a pizza to, to get when we're done with this. When we're done. Yeah. I don't when like to okay. adventure on a full stomach. You want me to tell a story, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, and speed up waiting in line. Well, first. And that's what happened. <laughs> My favorite bedtime story. Bedtime. Okay. Uh, I walk around three times in a circle and lay down. That, that, y we're still in line. Sorry, you do not qualify for that package. Please try again. We're pretty close then. Please choose from any of these eight doors. Ooh. Oh. Be aware that you are not allowed to choose the same door twice. Um. That's the third tenant again. Oh, the third tenant? That is Keep Mana Pure. And I believe, did you already go through number three? So, no, we did one, two, and seven. Yeah. So who's Mana? Uh, that's, you're Mana kidding me. Versus? You have five days left. You're the alchemist and you don't know what... There's a girl named Mana too. There could be a person named Mana. They're not a very good alchemist or oh. artificer or whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm not very good at my job. Yeah, Mana's like the stuff that magic... Is Please choose from any you of these eight pink? doors. You know what? You, you need an education. You are not allowed to choose you the same an, door twice. You need an education about yeah, choosing door three. Three? Okay. Welcome to door three. Thank you. Please make sure you record your new ticket designation. Arialis is not responsible for lost or forgotten ticket designations. Failure to do so will result in loss of any ticket upgrades. Keep track of your life tokens. This adventure recommends two life tokens. When did you get a Game Boy? I picked it up at GameStop last time we were there. Son of a bitch. That's I didn't right. know they had them. Unfortunately, they only had this uh, stupid Hario guy or something, hero guy, or, I don't know. I just jump around all over the place and grab fag clothes. And, this yeah, is Elvis. Welcome to door. Three. You have a 32-minute wait from this point. Turning back is not an option. Don't forget to visit the gift shop at the do, end do, of this do, adventure. Do, 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 do. Yeah, 32 minutes. What are we going to do for 32 minutes? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I know, right? Ooh, let's play that Game Boy. Can I see it? Sure, here you go. Oh, thank you. It's only got like 3% left on the charger. Mm -hmm. Oh, it died. Have any new or used equipment that you don't use anymore? Overburdened from that last adventure? Or maybe you're looking for that latest upgrade. Come on down the main stop, where we pay the most for your loot, because we know you trashed someone else for it. We have the best rates in Aureola's Octoplanos, as guided by the eight tenants. From swords to sorcery, we buy any and all equipment. New, 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 new,
or plunder. plunder. As long as you can show it with some authorized adventuring, we will buy it. Located in the corner of Fencing and Hawk Boulevard, we're ready to give you coin for your purloin. Oh, I get to tell the story again. I get to tell the story again. Get past all this? Yeah, let's just do that. I agree with you, Raymond. So, what? First of all, what happened is when you were off going to get that stuff to make mm -hmm. e Eroy go from a baby to a, and uh, yeah, that's how it happened. And uh, it was an Elena thing, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's the one who had me get it, and yeah, she's a smart person. You should talk to her again, maybe. Probably. Yeah, she's like all wizarding stuff, or is it witchy? She's a witchy, maybe. I don't know. I think I didn't wait long enough. Do I, do I need to take the story again, maybe? No, we only have like three minutes. We're fine. Oh, okay, okay. What's that lady's name again? Elena. Elena, that's right. You are four minutes from swinging some sword and flinging some fireballs. Plenty of time to get some upgraded equipment from Jerry Picado. Order now and get 10% off. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yeah. Is it too early? The show is simulcast uh, in okay. common. Uh, Daily you are tuned into a Rayolos 8 That's news. Right. We appreciate you. Told you you couldn't escape them. No. This is Ethan reporting live after a failed assassination attempt from deep within the Necromantic Empire, TM. And let me tell you, the zombie horde is massive, and I'm not just talking about the undead. I'm here at the Goblin King's dungeon, and I have given the crew here the privilege of answering some questions. Live on Vor. Hope you're ready, because here's Nikki, or what, Mickey. So, Mickey. Everyone that's your name, right? getting it wrong. It was my name's my name's Mickey, and Didn't he everyone die? keeps calling me. Yeah, Mickey, is he still alive? I, I miss okay. him. I can always switch my name. Um, I met this really nice guy who has paperwork who can he, he hey, can darling. he can change my name. And since I'm an adult now with with my own debt, that I, I can sign my own paperwork. That at least that's it what hurts. he said when he had me sign some of that paperwork. So. I, I'm, I'll, I'll change my name to Mikey, but right now my name's Mickey. Tell me, Mick, how was life in the Necromantic Empire? The Necromantic Empire's great. Uh, I, 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 Do you think I, we can I get can another little kid things? like him? Yeah. Like yeah. water and air yeah. and... Uh, I, I feel oh, like I'm going I, it's, it's amazing. It's everything my parents that, said it would no. be. It, that there's debt, there's responsibility, and the crushing weight of existentialism. <laughs> uh, it's, it's great. I don't think I could have found that anywhere else except the Necromantic Empire. Any plans for the future there, Mikey? My future plans? Um, I guess if... I think back to the words of Leroy and said, Do your best, kid. So I'm going to do my best. I'm going to make it as big as I can. I'm really going to try to build this up because I want to make Hogan and Grey Matter and Leroy and Kreef proud. Oh yeah, and Cookie too. She gave me a lot of advice. Hide swords and things. And that is good advice. That is really good advice. That's going to be one of the main things. We're going to be walking through a hallway and this horse You're the is real going to come influence. out. Maybe mechanical. Maybe if I can convince somebody to buy me a horse with swords to come out of its neck, then we can do that too. But I want it to be big and I want it to make as much money as I can so that I can give it back to the necromantic empire. With all these traps and contraptions, Mickey, has anyone made it through and claimed the grand prize of 500 gold pieces and counting? So far, no one's made it through. I, I, don't, I don't really understand that. why. I, I, I try to make the puzzles kind of easy. I try to make them make sense, but no one just really understands. Like, for example, I've got this one, one room that has some steps in it. And the answer is obviously they just have to cast heal on the steps because that's how you get better. You see steps and you, go, you try to recover, like admitting it's the first step. So you try to cure yourself, you try to heal, and if they would just cast heal on it, then everything would be better. God, he's such a genius. But no one understands things like that. Jesus, so Mickey, that's some deep shit. In, it's, it's Sorry, he'll only ever be Mikey to me. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. That, so the sign outside says. We should have brought him with us. I bet you'd be do better than us. That's some necromancer level armor you got there. Where did you come across such a beautiful piece of armor? You should have got a piece of his DNA. Should. First, uh, this might be I, I didn't have much, and that made it kind of hard. I, I almost died a couple times. I did die a couple times, and those were bad days because I didn't collect any gold those days. But then when the kids started dying, I... I 
took the skin off their off their bodies and got down to the bones and using some of the stuff from from gray matter it, it was I glued those bones together or fused them or something like that and well then my I got little a piece mad of armor. scientist and it was really good at deflecting swords and spears and arrows and stuff so what I made more chemicals did you and leave more down and more there? and more and when the I kids don't even kept know dying, anymore. I kept making more and more armor. But his armor and then I ran out of kids. Ray Matter's oh. potions, but she left her lab down it in the basement. Sense. So Child. I took the Child. armor Child. I had, Child. and I Child. went down, and the spiders it's that were down there, I couldn't bite through that armor. So I went back down to the lab, and I found potions. And using those potions, I made one fully complete set of human child skeleton armor. Mm. Did you mean... Physical well, Miss Levin, I'm impressed. Between you, me, and 320 million Areolians, is there someone special, a significant other in your life? I wish I would have thought my to make child officer is the child only other person that's significant to me in my life. Well, uh, other than Nigel, because without Nigel, none of this would be possible. What is Michael's absolute best day? The absolute best day was the day that Hogan told me he was my friend. And Leroy was my friend. And Kreef gave me a big kiss on the top of my head. And Grey Matter made cookies that tasted kind of like cardboard. No, I remember those cookies. They made me feel good. So, I I, I look back upon that day. And when it gets really hard, they're doing the best that they can. So I've got to try really hard, too. I really feel like you need to go back to the back form now. They're they're all my friends. It's great. Um, I refuse to believe he's dead. Certain kinds of humans and kids and stuff like that. But uh, that's always fun to try to pick the right food for the right person. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the spiders, the spiders in the sewer. It's really hard sometimes because Ricardo wants a certain thing and Satsune wants a thing and Hiro and Gunto and Volsky and Breezing Wind and Nunchek and Panda and Sugar Baby and Vincini and Jan and Doug and Gruber and Lotus Light and Kim and Muhammad and Ibrahim and Zilla and Arturo and Keith and Gorbachev and Goncharov. They just all want those different things, but they don't really share that well, but that's okay too because there's there's always more kids to give. Well, that I've got wraps a name. up the live report from within the enemy's yeah, territory. I'll yeah. be SLT my way it's back crazy. ASAP yeah. to bring you Free. more hope. Yeah. I'm Ethan. That's it for this edition of Voices of the Royal Emissary. Get more Vore at four. We will. Do you think we can scry him? This has been another installment of Voices of the Royal Emissary. No, no but the, the gnomes would. Thanks yeah. for listening yeah. to a Radio Lose 8 Please stand back. Have a great adventure. Day. Or not. Make sure you have your life token. The doors are opening. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Necromatic Empire TM. Our cast is Alex Fort as Nigel Gambitar, Blue Jackson as Leroy Jenkins, Jeremiah Freeman as Kreef, Rapunzel the Lettuce as Cookie, Robin Fry as Ram Man, Sam Sturgeon as Hogan Savage, Victoria Fish as Grey Matter, your district manager is John Simon. Additional voices by Kate Maxwell and Rachel Kearns. Music by Socially Awkward. In 400 feet, take a left turn into Misery Drive. Find them on SoundCloud by searching Socially Awkward. Mid-2000s experimental music, Chicago Bulls hat. He can be found at WSN Podcast on Twitter. Artwork by Joshua Allen. Find more of his work on Instagram at Faceless Cow. You can reach us at the Necromantic Empire at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you'd like to help support the show, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash time of your half-life. This has been a Radioactive Chef production. This'll probably all be cut. Doodly doodly doo.